Hello everyone, welcome to Lever Guns 50. Today we're doing something a little bit different. I hope you'll enjoy it. We're going to have a little samurai action here with a katana. All right, let's look at that samurai sword. This is also known as a katana. This particular one is Damascus steel. It has about a 27 inch blade on it. It is clay hardened as well. Don't know if you can see it here, but it is clay hardened and you can maybe make out the Damascus steel in it. We'll show you a closer up picture in, or some video in just a minute. This particular one is supposed to be made the same as they used to make it. And it seems to be a well-made sword. We're fixing to abuse it. We're going to cut water jugs. We're going to cut trees. We're going to check it out. It's got wooden pegs in the grip and a wooden sheath and it has a wooden handle as well look how that that blade it's 10 it's 1095 steel so it should be pretty good stuff so anyhow it should be a lot of fun you can see the wooden pegs there it's a pretty handy little thing it was right at two hundred dollars so it's not a high-end uh, samurai sword or a katana I know most katana people will say it's just a fake, but in the firearm world, we call them replicas if it's a genuine copy of the original. So here's a better look at the blade. And you can see the layers. It should have about, if I can get it to go on here, it should have about 5,000 layers. It's 13 folds. It looks almost like wood because of the grain in it. And you can see where the clay heat treating was. This is after I abused the crud out of it. Cutting trees and sticks and all kinds of stuff. Other than the lint that's on the edge of the blade, it's actually not folded over or anything. It's got some scratches right there on the side. But it did a really good job. Seemed to be really sharp. I'm fixing to show you all the abuse we put it through. The handle seems to be uh, pretty handy. And the scabbard, of course I know that's not what you're supposed to call it, but that's what we call it in English. Seems to be pretty decent. And here's the hand guard, seems to be pretty cool. So we're fixing to take it out and abuse the crud out of it, and hopefully you'll enjoy it. Trying to see how many whacks I can get before it falls off. So that's banana right there. Banana plant, I've seen a lot of people cut it, so apparently that's a good thing to try it out with. Anyhow, I thought it was a lot of fun. We're also going to cut water bottles, or at least attempt to. Now, I hadn't tried it before, and I wasn't sure what was going to happen. But it just zinged right through it like it wasn't even there. This blade appears to be very sharp. Not sure if you could shave with it, but it sliced right through those bottles. Now, here we're going to try even more bottles. And, uh... See how well it does. Just like butter. Here I'm going to whack down a banana plant. 
That thing just cut through it so easy. I mean, it was literally like cutting nothing. Now here, I didn't quite get the blade all the way into it, but it just cut right through it like it was mud. This thing is sharp. Even one hand, it just goes right through it just like it's nothing. Of course it's gonna slice right through it like it's not even there actually it was a lot of fun using this thing I mean because it's just so sharp and just drops right through everything so easily now we're gonna try it on some schumach and this stuff is you know it's it's not it's not real tough but it's not it's not paper it's, it's pretty tough it's not like cutting oak trees though. I like cutting pine. The blade disappears when you turn it sideways. I needed to just chop all these things down anyhow, so this tool come in handy for doing the job. But I wanted to kind of abuse it and see if it held its edge good or if the edge got damaged from hitting because these uh, shoe mop the outside of them is pretty hard the inside's not anyhow I'm still having a lot of fun with it I'm going to try to chop all this with one whack It's amazing how sharp this thing is. I know it's a Chinese replica, or as um, Katana people will say, it's a Chinese fake. But I feel like they did a good job on making it. I was going to get a cold steel one, but I really like the way this one looked. And I really like the way it looks in person. It sure does cut good. I'll leave the name of it all in the description in case y'all want to check it out. I'm surprised how well it did. Even cutting the blackberry vines, it did so easy. And I just barely bumped that and it just popped right into it. Now I'm just barely bumping it. I always wanted to get one of these, but they used to be a lot more expensive. I never wanted to pay a thousand dollars for any kind of a something I'm going to abuse like this. But the way I figure it, tools is meant to be used. So I'm going to be kind of rough on it, and if you guys want to get you one, you'll know if it can handle it. However, I'm not going to go crazy with it and try to split firewood. But we are going to have some more fun with it and chop some more water jugs. Here I'm chopping a tree. It's amazing how accurate it is. And here's the edge of the blade. And you really, there's no roll marks, there's nothing damaged on the blade, even after all that chopping and I even bumped the fence at one point and it's a uh, pretty thick wire and it didn't do anything so I, I think it's a well-made uh, sword for the money I mean 200 bucks Damascus steel clay hardened uh, and it looks decent and they had some other ones uh, different colors I just wanted red so Anyhow, I think it's a decent, a decent tool for the money, and uh, I'm enjoying it. That thing just chops right through that stuff like it's nothing. I really, I really enjoyed using this. I mean, it is amazing how it just chops right through that 
I have a machete and it gets stuck in it. It won't hardly ever chop all the way through the bigger part down at the base. And this is a much lighter weapon that does a good job. Thanks for watching. Come back and see us again, you hear? Don't forget to hit the like button on your way out.